Tom, welcome back to my channel where we talk about news, reviews and rides going on in the PV community. On this episode we're going to be checking out the ultimate Cali XLR accessory guide. So let's check it out. Just before we get ourselves started, I want to say a big shout out for today's sponsors for this video. Now, if these sponsors weren't donating some of the products to this video, this video simply wouldn't be happening. So I'll say a big shout out to Eastgate Shop based here in the UK and Dope uh, Grip for supplying the Dope Grip for this video. And then finally, Auto Bags for supplying the bag, which we can be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So please stay to the end to find out how you can enter that giveaway. But let's get ourselves started with our first product, which is Dope Grip. Now, for some of you guys who are not aware of like kind of the advancements we've had in the uh, eSkate community and even the uh, all PV community, we have got Dope Grip to thank us for our improvement on grip, uh, grip tape technology out there. So this is the standard one, quite traditional, quite rough uh, grip tape, but they also have another version, which is the pro version. Now this is the pro version. Now as you can see it's a little bit more spongier, but this is going to be going on the Cali XLR. We're going to be changing the stock grip tape uh, to this grip tape, but we're going to show you how we go through that process now. Right. Okay, so the first part of this video, we're going to be installing the dope grip. Now with your installation, uh, because this is a single piece and not the hexagonal one, uh, what I'm looking to do is match the original uh, grip on the board and upgrade it to the Dope Grip Pro. Because be honest, this gri Dope Grip I've got on my Carbon GTR and it is the softest, softest ride ever. And with the stabilization on this board, massive wheels, it's just gonna be f floating on cloud nine on this board. So with this installation, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a pen, and a hairdryer. So the idea is we're going to measure this twice and cut it once. So the width of this dope grip literally only just fits on this board. So it's going to have to go width ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off one piece at a time, hairdryer it off, measure it on the grip tape, mark it with a pen, and then slowly cut this out. But it's going to be a nice steady process. So we're going to start by hair drying the first one off. And then just get ourselves started on this journey. So let's get ourselves started. So after you've heated that up, it should uh, loosen the glue and then it should just easily, which it is, peel this off. Now I'm going to do it really slowly because I want to save this piece and then we're going to stick it to the back of the dope grip. And I'm gonna start right at the bottom. I'm gonna give myself a tiny amount of play. We're gonna get ourselves started. So now we've got that at the back of the grip. So in essence, that is gonna be mirrored on here. So we flip it over, it should be fine. So I've marked that out there, and then we're gonna cut it out like so. Now, that gives you a piece of dope grip. Trim the corners, peel off the adhesive back, and then simply replace the location of the original grip. Now, we repeat that about 50 times. So let's get ourselves started.
Right, so we have completed one half of this project already. One thing to note of, that is excess dope grip I have from this half. So if there's any bits on here I want to amend later, there is some playroom. But be warned guys, when you do this, make sure you do all the big pieces first, so the large complete hexagonals, and then with the outside ones, you do a little bit on the side, okay guys? Just ensures that you use the uh, don't grip for its full potential. So we're gonna finish here and then we're gonna snap onto this side. But already guys, it's just what Dwarf needs to make it really pop. So let's finish this side and let's carry on with this video. done as you can see the dope grip is installed in my opinion it is the absolute business so it's very soft on the impact but very rough uh, locking you onto the board which is great especially on the board this size also being raised slightly um, will be good for your foot placement so you know exactly where you are on the board so you're not going to get any slippage which is great so next thing we're going to look at is the remote so this is the remote you have on the Cali XR, the Hoyt Pug. In my opinion, probably one of the best Eastgate remotes out there. Um, really responsive, the throttle curve is really nice. You can have it as a left hand, right hand, you just simply switch it. Um, I really like the fact that when you turn the remote on, if you double tap the blue button, it will lock the remote. Also, it vibrates when it's not connected to the board because the board's off at the moment. However, what I seem to find on boards this scale, especially with the uh, battery size on them. After a long period of time, you get like a little bit of fatigue and do a little finger for long rides. So if you do a long, long ride, you sometimes get a little bit of strain in your little finger, but there are some options you can have to upgrade your remote. So here are the two options that we can have uh, for your Hoyt Puck. Now this is the Puck Puck Bruce and it basically what it is it's a housing change for your Hoyt Puck. All you need to do is simply undo the four screws that are in the back of the controller and then all you need to do is simply take the housing out so so easy uh, place it in the core of your remote put the buttons on the inside on the inside of your new remote close it up and screw it in nice and simple Hoyt Puck sorted up. So that's one of your options. And the one that we're going on this time for a fresh new start is this one. Now this is the uh, bat wing. So it's more from like a knuckle duster size. Um, it's a slightly different ergonomically in the hand. Uh, all your four fingers are connected to this point and you've got your um, gaps between your fingers to give it a nice strong um, grip in the hand. So this is the uh, Hoyt Puck using the Bat wing housing for this. Now this was printed for me, one of the guys in the community, Lee Rad. If you're watching this, thank you so much for your support and helping out on this channel for printing this for me. I really, really appreciate it. I'll be buying you a beer when I come up to the Northern Monkeys next time. But this remote, I'm really excited to see how it feels um, in the hand. And does it feel really like ergonomic in the hand and soft and see if I still get that fatigue. If not, I would just be changing the housing uh, on this remote to the Puck Bruce because I've had that on other boards before. So that is the Puck Puck Bruce. Next thing we're going to look at is bags. Of the show this is the Arca bag now for people who don't like carrying backpacks but want um, something to take out with them for long long rides this is the bag for you now we already have done a video on this before link in the description below with more details but we'll do a quick summary overview um, of the Arca bag so in the top pouch simply open it up at the top and you have this uh, like kind of straps inside here so if you want to put like your say tools or stuff like that you can simply place it in like so and it's not going to move inside the bag so that's a nice little grid system so you can put it inside also you have a nice little top pouch as well nice bright color so if you're out for a night ride you can see nice and clearly what's inside your bag that's a lovely little feature zip that up i've got the main compartment 
You have a nice little shoulder strap here. So if you're uh, going out for a long, long ride, you can simply put your shoulder strap around your bag. You can have it on your side. So if you need to go out, take your stuff with you. Simply leave your board on the floor, take your bag with you. Nice, simple feature there. Uh, this is the main part of the bag. So these two straps, they go round your board and clip on and basically secure the board um, to your bag. So that's nice and good. You have these dividers here. So people like myself who do a lot of camera work, you've got these nice little spaces in here. So you can have space for your camera, your charger, your remote, spares and other, other parts as well. And then here, your grid system again, on that one. So now what we're gonna do is fit the auto bag to the Cali bag and see how that looks. So that put it all together now. Okay, right, so this uh, fit the Arca bag to the Cali XLR. So I'm gonna thread this through uh, the holes in the back. Okay, right, so that's done like so. So that's on there. But all you need to do now is simply connect the clips together. Obviously it's much easier when you uh, have the board on a flat surface. Then it's fixed to the board. Obviously you're just tying a bit up when it's on a flat surface. But that is the Arca bag on the Cali XLR. I think with the black and the black and the uh, dope grip, it's a really nice finish. I'd love to see like a collaboration of a brand in the middle or some sponsorship. Get that now, like a logo or something, that'd be sick. But that's uh, the Arca bag. Now with this bag, we are gonna be doing a giveaway of this bag. Now I know I missed our thousand subscriber giveaway. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. In personal life, I couldn't really get this uh, giveaway out at the time. But because we've got this uh, Arca bag, we're gonna be giving it away to a member of the community, just as a small thank you for myself. Um, so what I'm gonna be asking you to do, is quite simple, just be subscribed to the channel, uh, drop a like in the video, and comment any other accessories that I, we have not covered today, comment below what would make this board even better. Alternatively, uh, what do you think is the best um, accessory we've gone through today? Just drop in a comment in below and we'll give it away randomly to one of our subscribers, okay? We'll be doing another giveaway later on in this video, so we're doing two giveaways. So please stay tuned for a little bit longer for a second giveaway. Right, now we are on to the final part of this video. Now we're looking at the brand new Shred Likes FX. Now, full disclosure, this was totally bought out of my own money. No sponsorship, so no affiliate with Shred Likes at all. Totally unbiased. Now, in the box, you do get your light. Another thing we're gonna have a look at as well, what else we get inside the uh, box. Now, this is retailing for about 50 pounds in the UK. So it's quite expensive, in my opinion, but is the build quality, quality being as good as Shred Likes normally do? Let's find out. You also get uh, the flat mount, which is nice and flat actually, quite small actually. So it's got a nice strong bond in the middle, that's good. And in the box as well, we do have a quite funky sticker actually. And a spare adhesion strip, which I am really happy with actually with that. Sounds like a really small thing, but it's good to have this, and if you don't like positioning, you can remove it and put it on a new location with um, USB Type-C charging as well. So I'm quite happy with that. Nice sticker as well, actually, I like that. That's a really nice feature, actually. Now, and to be honest, Red Lights have always made really nice premium quality products and justified the price. And the reason why I say justified the price a lot of time is because if you do have faults with your light, they will always sort you out. Um, I had one of my lights go recently for my SL300, uh, which was, that light was sponsored by um, Eastgate Shop, so thank you very much for that. Um, but they've uh, offered to replace the, the light straight away. No issues at all, no questions, no problems. So the SL um, FX, we're looking at some more details. So obviously you turn it on, it's nice and clear, it's quite bright actually. Build quality is really nice actually. It feels really solid. And I think that's the big thing about shred lights. If you drop it or 
smash against the floor, it's going to take a little bit of a beating, so that's, that's quite nice. Nice rainbow effect, so you've obviously got red, green, so that's like pulsating different colours. You've got this snake effect, so that goes all the way around, that's quite nice. Solid red, like an orange or yellow, like a lime green, that's nice. That's a stronger green. Crystal white, now I do like white on the board, I think it's really nice. Uh, like a light blue. Purple or pink, now I do like purple. Purple is a really nice color. Crystal white, even brighter. And then it circles through the features. Right, so let's stick us on the board and see what that looks like. Right, so installation is quite simple um, for the XLR. First thing you want to do is get yourself a wet wipe or some cleaning solution. Wipe down the entire stomach of the board. Then get yourself uh, like a cloth or something dry down the surface and now line up where you're going to put your thread light. Now there's no real um, spot, but you could place it right in the middle. But I think with the bowing of the enclosure slightly, we might have some issues. I'm gonna place it right there. What I'm gonna do is do a soft fit, line it up to see where that's gonna sit. I ultimately want it right in the center like that, or along that way, but I do think that's gonna to move too much. So we're gonna place it widthways I'd love it to go there. Yeah, I'm going to place it widthways there. So simply remove the adhesive strip, place to the wall. So I'm going to put this with the adhesion on, so it's right in the core of the board. Right, now that's fitted right. Take sure that off. Press it down a little bit. Put it back on, ready to go. I feel like we need two, one here and one here, ultimately. But I only could afford one, guys, I'm afraid. So I only got the one on this channel. So, flip this over, let's dim the lights and let's see how this baby looks in the dark. Grip, the Arca bag, the SLSF, SLFX, and the uh, Puck Puck Bruce, and the Batwing of all essential accessories needed for the get the maximum out of your Cali XLR. So all there is to do now is to take this bad boy out, take it out in the dark, and just go shred this bad boy. So let's go have some fun. Let's take this boy out for a ride.
that completes our um, accessory guide for our Kali XLR. A um, couple of things to make note of on the video. Uh, the dope grit, I can't say, is absolutely outstanding. And as I said in the beginning of this video, I will be going to do a giveaway with the Arca bag, but we're also going to do a bonus giveaway. To thank you audience so much for your support, we're going to do a second giveaway. So the second giveaway we're going to be giving away is a sheet of dope grip raw. So this is going to be going out to one of my subscribers as well. And what I want you to do is simply uh, drop a link in the comments below to your favorite video on the channel. Just comment down below your favorite video so I know what the audience really like, and then we'll look at that, and whatever video has the most amount of likes, I'll comment and I will send you a sheet of Dope Grip as a thank you from myself. A couple other things to make note of, uh, the Shred Light FX. I was really impressed how clean the light was, if that makes sense. It was really nice distribution of the light underneath the board. However, with a board this side, you simply need two. One is not enough, you need two. One at the front and one at the back to really kind of get a nice underboard lighting over the whole way through. Even though it came up quite well in the video with the light as well. Arcabag great and also the remote with the bat wing, so nice in the hand, really nice and ergonomic. It's really good to hold for long rides. Anyway, that is the conclusion of this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more content. It comes out on a weekly basis and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.